Now to the latest on the war in Ukraine. A Pentagon official is calling Russian gains in their latest offensive minimal at best. But the situation is becoming even more dire in the city of Mariupol. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. Russian forces once again targeting the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol. At least two civilians killed overnight, more than 200 still trapped. Evacuation efforts are underway, more than 100 taken to safety as the bombardment continues. This evacuee saying every night we went to sleep and thought about whether we would survive. Volunteers trying to rescue more people, but officials say the process is risky. Everything is very fragile. Things can fall apart at any given moment. And now a U.S. official warns Russia may attempt to annex two Russian-backed territories in Ukraine by mid-May, using false referendum votes to justify their claims. Fabricated votes uh, will not be considered uh, legitimate, nor will any attempts to annex additional Ukrainian territory. Civilian areas getting hit across southern and eastern Ukraine. Firefighters trying to control these flames at a park in Kharkiv after Russian shelling. Residents there urged to take shelter underground and stay there. In Odessa, a missile strike on a dormitory reportedly killing a teenage boy and injuring a teenage girl. Though Ukrainian forces are putting up a strong fight, President Biden asking Congress to approve more security assistance for Ukraine. This fight is not going to be cheap. But caving to aggression would even be more costly. We either back the Ukrainian people as they defend their country or we stand by as Russia continues its atrocities and aggression. Ukrainian officials renewing calls to prosecute Russian President Vladimir Putin as a war criminal for his attacks on civilians, calling him the main war criminal of the 21st century. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.